Hello friends, welcome back. Hope you have understood the questions in the previous video. Now let us continue with the remaining questions. Next question. Three numbers are in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3 and their HCF is 12. What are the numbers? Now let us assume that the numbers are x, 2x and 3x. Now there is no other co number common than x. So HCF of the numbers is x. And as per the question, HCF is equal to 12. So x is equal to 12. Therefore the numbers are 12, 24 and 36. The answer is option number 1. Next question. Uh, this is the question. There is nothing much to explain in this question. All we have to do is open up the brackets one by one and simplify the equation. So what, first we open up the normal brackets that is the small brackets and then the flower back brackets and then the square brackets. So we can see the question is x of 2 of minus 4 of minus a plus 5 of minus 2 of minus 2 of minus a is equal to 4a. So that is nothing but after opening up the uh, small brackets x of minus 2 of 4a plus 5 of minus 2 of 2a is equal to 4a. Now let's open up the flower brackets that is nothing but x of minus a plus 5 of minus 4a is equal to 4a. Now let's open up the square brackets too that is so uh, this is minus 8ax minus 20a is equal to 4a. Now uh, if we divide the right hand side by the left hand side minus 8ax minus 20a by 4a is equal to 1. This is nothing but x is equal to minus 3. So the answer is option number 2. Next question. A can complete a work in m days and B can complete it in n days. How many days will it take to complete the work if both A and B work together? It is given in the question A can complete the work in m days. So the work done by A in one day is equal to 1 by m. Similarly, it is given that B can complete it in n days. So the work done by B in one day is equal to 1 by n. Therefore, the work done by A and B in one day is equal to 1 by m plus 1 by n. This is nothing but m plus n by mn. Therefore, A and B can complete the work in mn by m plus n days. That is the answer. Next question. From a point P on the ground, the angle of elevation of the top of a 10 meters tall building is 30 degrees. A flag is hoisted at the top of the building and the angle of elevation of the top of the flag staff from P is 45 degrees. Find the length of the flag staff. Now let us consider that AB is the building which is 10 meters long. So we can draw the diagram like this and AC is the flag staff. Now let us consider the triangle APB. It is given that the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. Now let us take tan 30 degrees which is equal to AB by PB which is equal to 1 by root 3 which is nothing but 10 by PB. Therefore PB is equal to 10 root 3 meters. Now similarly in triangle CPB angle CPB is 45 degrees as it is given that the angle of elevation is 45 degrees. Now let us take tan 45 tan 45 is equal to BC by PB this is nothing but 1 is equal to BC by 10 root 3 therefore BC is equal to 10 root 3. Now we know that AC is equal to BC minus AB therefore it is equal to 10 root 3 minus 10 which is nothing but 10 into root 3 minus 1. We know that root 3 is equal to 1.732 on substituting AC is equal to 
थ्री टू मीटर्स देर फोर दी आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर फोर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द वैल्यू ऑफ वन बाय रूट टू साइन पाई बाय सिक्स कॉस पाई बाय फोर माइनस कॉट पाई बाय थ्री सी कैंड पाई बाय सिक्स प्लस फाइव टेन पाई बाय फोर बाय ट्वेल्व साइन पाई बाय टू इज इक्वल टू दिस अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन ऑल वी हैव टू डू इज सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यूज वी नो दैट पाई रेडियंस इज वन एटी डिग्रीज देयर फोर ऑन सब्सटीट्यूशन वी गेट वन बाय रूट टू इंटू साइन वन एटी बाय सिक्स इंटू कॉस वन एटी बाय फोर माइनस कॉट वन एटी बाय थ्री इंटू सी कैंड वन एटी बाय सिक्स प्लस फाइव टेन वन एटी बाय फोर बाय ट्वेल्व साइन वन एटी बाय टू दिस इज इक्वल टू वन बाय रूट टू साइन थर्टी डिग्रीज कॉस फोर्टी फाइव माइनस कॉट सिक्सटी सी कैंड सिक्स सी कैंड थर्टी प्लस फाइव टेन फोर्टी फाइव बाय ट्वेल्व साइन नाइन्टी नाउ वी नो साइन थर्टी इज वन बाय टू कॉस फोर्टी फाइव इज वन बाय रूट टू एंड कॉट सिक्सटी इज वन बाय रूट थ्री सी कैंड थर्टी इज टू बाय रूट थ्री टेन फोर्टी फाइव इज वन साइन नाइन्टी इज ऑल्सो वन ऑन सब्सिट्यूटिंग दिस वी गेट द आंसर एज जीरो The answer is option number one. Next question: If sine theta is equal to three by five, then find the value of tan theta plus cos theta by cot theta plus cosecant theta. Now it is given that sine theta is equal to three by five. Let us consider the right angle triangle where three and five are the sides, and we know that there it is a Pythagoras triplet, so five is the hypotenuse and four is the third side. therefore cos theta is equal to 4 by 5 and tan theta is equal to 3 by 4 similarly cot theta is equal to 4 by 3 and cosecant theta is equal to 5 by 3 now let us substitute the values tan theta plus cos theta by cot theta plus cosecant theta is equal to 3 by 4 plus 4 by 5 divided by 4 by 3 plus 5 by 3 which is equal to 31 by 60 so the answer is option number 2 next question 60 students were asked to choose their favorite sport their distribution is as follows football 15 cricket 12 swimming 12 basketball 11 athletics 10 the data is illustrated in a pie chart what angle should be used for football now this is the pie chart and it is known that the total number of students is 60 and the total number of students who are football favorites is 15 15 now ratio of the football favorites to the total number of students is equal to 15 by 60 which is nothing but 1 by 4 now we know that the total angle in a pie chart is 360 degrees so the angle that should be used for the football in a pie chart is nothing but 1/4 of 360 degrees which is equal to 90 degrees so the answer is option number 3 this finishes the morning session paper of 19th october 2014 in the next few videos i will discuss the evening session paper of october 19th 2014 please subscribe to my channel to receive all the future updates if you have any queries feel free to write to me at prmrao@gmail.com thank you for watching the video